Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com and I wanted to talk about the idea that some people have regarding relationships both romantic and friendship oriented when they say this person needs me I need to save this person. Without me, this person would be in a ditch, in a gutter, homeless, starving. And I think what this idea lends itself is that, well, the destructive nature of believing that we must save specific people, specific groups of people. And if a person, if a person's life descends into chaos and disorder, that it is our fault. And I want to impress on all of you that you don't need to save anybody. It is not your duty to save any one person. I believe we can improve the world much more efficiently by spreading ideas, by spreading knowledge, helping people when we can, raising our kids to be compassionate, moral, decent, loving human beings not by going out of our way to save this person or that person and then their life becomes dependent on our life. No. All this produces is a dependent. And our goal is to help people to become independent in the very same way that the welfare state incentivizes people to become unproductive sloth. We must take care that the people that we believe we must save do not become crippled in their potential for growth and for self-reliance because ultimately that is our goal. It is not about any individual person that we must save. No. If you want to improve the world, present it with one improved unit, one person that is worthy of emulation. You. If you wish to improve the world, improve yourself. Let other people see your improved self. In the words of Confucius, if you want to put the nation, if you want to put the world in order, first put the nation in order. If you want to put the nation in order, first put the city in order. If you want to put the city in order, first put the town in order. If you want to put the town in order, first put your house in order. And if you want to put the house in order, first put yourself in order. It always begins with the individual. It always begins with you. Once you lose sight of that, once you focus on one particular person, you have abandoned the work that needs to be done to improve the world. You have abandoned the self-improvement that you need to search for. Never lose sight of that. It is always about the individual. Now, certainly, it is not harmful to have friends. It's not harmful to have a relationship, a romantic relationship. But we should not be reliant. This should not be a crutch for our spiritual health.
We must learn to be powerful and independent on our own two feet. Just as we parents encourage our children to be independent when they are ready. Now, it's a delicate it's a delicate balance that with children, we do not want to push them prematurely to become independent. Because that only engenders resentment and frustration on their part. But we must demonstrate that we have their back, that we support them, that we love them and that we care for them. And through the establishment of a firm foundation of family, they will understand that the world is not as scary as it seems. And we will have produced one more unit of an improved individual. This is the power of the individual. This is the power of you. So it's not about saving this or that person. It's not about It's not about you attempting to supplant their independence with your skills. It's about teaching other people to be independent of themselves, giving them the skills to be self-reliant, to be on their own, to stand on their two feet. Right? Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man a fish, feed him for a lifetime. It's all about teaching skills for self-reliance. And on a related note, this is why the minimum wage is so destructive. Because as a person who is inexperienced in the work atmosphere desires to move up the economic ladder and gain skills, if this person, for whatever reason, does not have sufficient skills to hold down a minimum wage job, whatever that is, because it's illegal to pay that person less than what their skills are worth, then they will be unemployed. Then they will not be able to move up the economic ladder, and thereby crippling a person's potential and enlarging the welfare state. So free market capitalism is about empowering the individual. It's about gaining skills. It's about improving the world by presenting it with one single improved unit, yourself. That's how we improve the world. It's not a complicated formula. You don't need to tell people what to do. You don't need to direct and micromanage people. If you are a success, if you are a happy person, if you demonstrate contentment, people will see that for themselves. And they will ask you, what is your secret? <laughs> and when they ask those questions, then their mind is open. Then you can teach. Improve yourselves. Thank you very much for listening. This is Peace Wanikism. Enjoy your day.